From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook The Black-Eyed Kids by G. Michael Vasey, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample of this terrifying audiobook at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. The Memorial Day weekend box office was the lowest it's been in 18 years. In fact, the only way that it could have been worse is if all the opening films starred Pauly Shore trying to make a comeback. Despite being fired from CNN, Kathy Griffin has apologized for being photographed while holding a mock decapitated head of Donald Trump. She took to Twitter to apologize for the Trump beheading photos, writing, I sincerely apologize, I'm just now seeing the reaction of these images. I crossed the line, I moved the line, then I cross it, I went way too far. The image is too disturbing, I understand how it offends people, it wasn't funny, I get it, I've made a lot of mistakes in my career, I will continue, I ask for your forgiveness. Uh, nah, nah, you know what, she got her name out there, she dominated the news cycle, so I'm gonna guess she's not all that sorry. After being kicked off of a Southwest Airlines flight this week, a passenger acting erratically tried to get back on board by running onto the aircraft. The Chicago-bound flight was scheduled to depart from Las Vegas when the man locked himself in the restroom and refused to come out. Eventually, he was tossed, but another passenger says the next thing you know, he tried to fight his way back on, and that's when the Southwest guys came and got him. And when that didn't work, they called over the United Airlines guys because they know how to get the job done. Estimates are that during summer, 818 hot dogs are eaten every second. But enough about Rosie O'Donnell. A couple in Alberta, Canada had just gotten engaged aboard a hot air balloon before it suddenly crashed. Everybody is okay, but you know, sometimes it'd be kind of nice if the angels gave their hints in a more subtle manner. Tony Schwartz, the ghostwriter of President Trump's most famous book, The Art of the Deal, says Trump is likely to resign rather than let any of his spiraling scandals make it seem like he might lose. Schwartz believes Trump will soon start trying to figure out a way to resign instead of potentially facing impeachment proceedings or enduring continuing humiliation. He wants to figure out a way, as he's done all his career, to turn a loss into a victory, and so he will declare victory when he leaves, says Schwartz. So, if a month from now Trump suddenly declares, I've done it, I've made America great again, so my job is done, well, now you'll know why. Former Ford CEO Mark Fields will be given a $54.4 million severance package. Yeah, that'll show him! A Texas theater is getting flack for having a women-only showing of Wonder Woman. Uh, by the way, it's sold out. Well, hey, all right, isn't gender a social construct nowadays? I mean, that's what they're telling us. So, well, couldn't guys just show up and say, today I identify as female, you know, and then just get in anyway? In January of this year, Emily Ruddow of Toronto had just finished running a 10K or 6.1 miles every day for 31 consecutive days. Turns out she was just getting started. Emily is now undertaking a much bigger quest to set a Guinness World Record by running a half marathon for more consecutive days than anyone else. And to do that, she will have to run a half marathon every day for 70 days in a row. Man, I am exhausted just saying all that. Give me a second to catch my breath. <sighs> Prince Charles has received an honorary degree from a school in Transylvania. You can insert your own vampire joke here. Americans made 433 million fewer trips to restaurants at lunchtime last year, resulting in roughly $3.2 billion in lost business for restaurants. Well, yeah, that's because we had less money to spend. Thanks, Obama! Members of a bizarre religious sect in North Carolina may be going to trial for allegedly trying to beat homosexual demons out of a now former member. Matthew Fenner says that he joined Word of Faith Fellowship in Spindale, North Carolina with his mother and brother in 2010, but he fled on January 27, 2013 after he was attacked by two dozen members for two hours as he was leaving a prayer service. The Associated Press has interviewed 43 former members of the 750-member Evangelical Church as well as reviewed documents and covertly made recordings, and reports that sinners are routinely purified quote unquote, 
by being punched, choked, and thrown to the floor as a means of expelling demons. Really? Okay, can, can you show me in the Bible where expelling demons works like that? I've been a born-again Christian now since 1989. I not once have come across that passage. It is cults like this that give true Christianity a bad name. Tiger Woods was arrested for DUI over Memorial Day weekend. Gee, you know, you'd think if anybody would know best when it's time to use a driver, it'd be Tiger. The female zookeeper was killed by a tiger at a zoo in Cambridge, England on Monday. Had nothing to do with uh, Tiger Woods driving, though. A baby in Brazil has been compared to Stewie from Family Guy after she appeared to start walking minutes after she was born. Doctors were trying to bathe her, but she had other ideas. She started to wriggle around to walk on her own. Now, normally babies don't start walking until they're about 12 months old, and one of the nurses said, oh my gosh, the girl is walking, good gracious! A midwife said, merciful father, I was trying to wash her here, and she keeps getting up to walk. She has walked from here to here. Man, even babies know it's a bad idea to stay in the hospital once the insurance runs out. Australia is considering a ban on anyone coming to their country who is a convicted pedophile. Considering? What, like there's somebody who would disapprove of that plan? Join the Weirded Forward movement where Marlar House weirdos make a difference in the world, a couple bucks at a time. Our latest Weirded Forward campaign is for Keith. He has Down syndrome and was unexpectedly accepted to college, but sadly he has no money for tuition, so we are trying to remedy that. Get the details by watching the video at WeirdItForward.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. You can find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!